Upon arriving at the wall, Bran and Mira are greeted by the men of the Night's Watch, led by acting Lord Commander Edison Tollett. To Ed's surprise, Bran is already aware of his service in the Night's Watch and knowledge of the White Walkers, having witnessed everything from the Weirwood Tree. Convinced of their identities, Ed and the Rangers escort Bran and Mira to Castle Black. Bran then travels to Winterfell, and arrives soon after John leaves for Dragonstone. Sansa runs to Bran and embraces him, not having seen each other since Sansa left for King's Landing. Sansa and Bran later talk by the Weirwood Tree in the Godswood of Winterfell. Bran states his intent to talk to Jon when Sansa mentions him. Sansa initially believes Bran would be Lord of Winterfell, but Bran tells her that he is now the Three-Eyed Raven, and that he must learn about current and past events. To convince her, Bran tells Sansa about her white wedding dress she wore when she married Ramsay Bolton, which takes Sansa by surprise and unsettles her. Now with a wheelchair made by Maester Walken, Bran is met by Peter Baelish, who gives him the Valyrian steel dagger that was used to make an attempt on his life from the cat's paw. Uninterested, Bran simply asks Peter if he knows who had the dagger before the assassin, to which Peter responds that the question started the War of the Five Kings. Peter then questions him on how he survived beyond the wall, only to return to such chaos, to which Bran replies, chaos is a ladder, the very thing Peter said to Varys after thwarting his plan to marry Sansa to Loris Tyrell and allowing Joffrey Baratheon to kill Ross for her role in Varys's plot, leaving Sansa to marry Tyrion instead. Peter, visibly stunned, then exits upon the entrance of Mira, addressing Bran as, Lord Stark. However, Bran corrects him, saying that his profession as the Three-Eyed Raven doesn't allow this. Mira then announces that she is going back to Greywater Watch, to which Bran asks if she is leaving him, but understands that she must be with her family when the White Walkers come. Bran thanks her for her help, though she is upset this is all he has to say to her, despite the fact that Jojen, Summer, and Hodor all sacrifice themselves to help Bran. However, Bran says that he is not, Bran Stark, and the many generations of the Three-Eyed Raven have all flown into him, meaning he can experience everything. Mira tearfully tells Bran that he died in the cave of the Three-Eyed Raven. Having another vision in the Godswood, he is reunited with his long-lost sister Arya, whom Bran initially thought was going to King's Landing to kill Cersei, a target on her kill list. With all three surviving children of Ned and Catelyn together, Bran gives Arya the dagger, explaining it is wasted on a cripple. When she asks why such a low-born assassin would have a dagger made of Valyrian steel, Bran monotonously says that someone of a much higher position of power must have hired him and given the dagger to him. The three siblings then continue into the castle together, Arya pushing Bran's chair. Later, Bran wags into a flock of ravens to do reconnaissance on the army of the dead, discovering they are dangerously close to Eastwatch by the sea. Unfortunately, the Night King spots him and promptly dispels the wagged ravens. Once out of his trance, Bran orders Maester Walken to send out carrier ravens. One of these is sent to Jon, who learns of Bran and Arya's return to Winterfell, their survival also being mentioned in the letter. Bran is later brought to join Sansa in what initially appears to be a trial for Arya but actually Peter. Sansa accuses Peter of murdering their aunt Lysa Arryn, orchestrating the assassination of Jon Arryn, and conspiring with the Lannisters to betray their father leading to the deaths of the entire Stark household in King's Landing as well as Ned's execution. At first, Peter denies these accusations and points out that none of them actually saw him do any of these things. Bran reminds Peter that he held a knife to his father's throat and repeats what he said to him then, I did warn you not to trust me. Arya then shows Peter the very same dagger that was meant to kill Bran and tells him that he lied to their parents about it belonging to Tyrion. Bran watches as his mother's former childhood friend and suitor crumples to the floor and begs for his life before Arya slits his throat with his own dagger. Later, Bran meets with the recently arrived Samuel Tarly in his chambers. After explaining his abilities to Sam, Bran confirms via Raven Scroll that Jon is returning to Winterfell alongside Daenerys Targaryen. Though Bran already knows the truth about Jon's parentage and stresses that Jon needs to know as well, Sam reveals that Jon is actually the legitimate son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark, the High Septon having secretly annulled Rhaegar's marriage to Aelia Martell. Using his green sight, Bran witnesses the secret wedding of Rhaegar and Lyanna, realizing they genuinely loved each other and that Robert's rebellion was based on a lie. Revisiting the vision Lyanna giving birth to her son, Bran hears Lyanna tell Ned that Jon's name is Aegon Targaryen, 
and thus, the one true heir to the Iron Throne. Later, through his flock of ravens at Eastwatch by the sea, Bran watches the Night King destroy a large portion of the wall using the undead Viserion, allowing his army to march south.